Hey everyone, welcome to another Iron Huskies video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we had a 1v1 tournament last night, and I just wanted to run through some of the games and show you what went well and what didn't go well. Uh, so the rules for this tournament was it was going to be a survival match. It was going to be uh, three rounds, uh, first of three rounds, uh, four lives, three minute rounds. So this is my match against Fiegel, who is another clan admin. Uh, we have a, a bit of a rivalry going, so it was a hugely anticipated match. Um, and so we had the map of Jav 4. And so going into the match, I know his playstyle. I know that he likes to use invisibility. He likes to uh, try to get the jump on you in any opportunity he gets. So I figured this guy likes to use uh, Arantil. So I'm going to run with Arbalest because Arbalest has a slightly faster charge time. And if you hit it right, you can always outgun... Uh, a fusion rifle and they have to stay low to the ground to do it so I figured Arbalest was my best bet so I ran Arbalest with enhanced linear fusion targeting and another linear fusion targeting just to make it extra cheesy and everything else didn't really matter because I, I didn't really have anything spec for linear fusion rifles so I just figured I'd run with enough stuff to be able to load it quickly and have enough uptime with my Arbalest so um, we were using movement exotics only, so I was running with my transversive steps, which I recognize isn't the, really the best um, for linear fusion rifles in general. But that's fine. I figured I'm just going to jump into it. I'm going to so run in this top tree dawn blade because normally I run with mountain top. That's my my usual build. I run mountain top with storm collar. This time I was trying something Every different. It was going to be arbalist with Top Tree Dawn Blade. Now the reason why I like Top Tree Dawn Blade is because they're quick, they're agile. I can dodge a fusion rifle bolt if I needed to. So I got myself into the match there, and right away tagged him with a, with a blast from the Arbalist, and tried to use Celestial Fire to finish it off, but it didn't work. Uh, but I managed to get the kill anyway. As you can see immediately, he has the smoke bombs, he has all the, all the sneaky tactics to get a jump on you. So I had him in my line of sight, and so I popped my Heat Rises grenade, and he couldn't find me for a little bit, which gave me a, a little bit of an a, advantage over him. Now, you can see me using that Icarus Dash a lot. Um, I do that to confuse my opponents, because it's a it's fairly new movement style, and a lot of people aren't used to facing it yet. So I managed to get another, another shot on him there. It was a crispy headshot, thanks to the targeting, most likely. Uh, I feel like that one should have been a hit, but... Whatever, he got away with it. Boom, dodged one of his shots, confused him again. Because they have an expectation for where you're supposed to land. So he was about to follow up with the second shot, but he wasn't able to. That's the beauty of Icarus Dash. So I had him in my sights. I was suppressing him for a little bit, giving myself a chance to heal. And then I caught him invisible and took the kill. Now in the interest of having a good match, I wasn't just going to start running and hiding. I did want to get into another fight with him immediately. So there you can see that I try to put distance bet between myself and his Arantil so that um, I could get the most out of that. Um, I, I mean, if I can force one or two of the bolts from that Arantil to miss, then I can tank it. Uh, so there you go, another another um, Icarus dash out of the way. He seems to have trouble fighting against that, but I made the mistake of going out into the open again immediately after, uh, immediately after that. Seconds. All I ask so is with 29 seconds, survive. I'm still up by one life. I'm waiting for him. At this point, I'm not being too aggressive. So I don't want him to get the jump on me again. It's a solid void wall grenade. Good bounce on it. There you go, he got the jump on me again. There he goes, so now it's a one on one. With four seconds left. And so at this point, it's basically just going to be a battle over the middle there. And so I pop my heat rises, go up into the air, and I 
try to get a scan of the, of the area. And he, you can see that he tried to fusion rifle me because that's where I was supposed to be on the radar. Uh, but he fired too low, he didn't see me up in the air. So that gives me a chance to get a little bit of a jump on him. Tagged him with my Arbalist. He's trying to hit me again with the air until, but... But he knows that I'm going to start moving again, so... He's a little bit more cautious with it. Because he doesn't want to waste his last bolt. And so I tag him with my Arbalist again, and he goes back to hiding. And so every time I do that, I start capturing a little bit more. You can see me dipping in and out of the, um, the capture point. Just because I want to keep him off of it, but also I don't want to um, put myself in a position where I can be taken out by him easily. So boom, I, I fire off my Celestial Fire. Damage him a little bit, go back to capturing. You annihilate And that's round one. It's a pretty solid round, if I say so myself. You're in the lead. Stay there. So there he got to jump on me a little bit again, but my Icarus Dash let me get out of the way. I'm running 10 recovery, or, well, tier 10 recovery. So it's really fast. Pop my Heat Rises again. And we both kind of screwed up there. I wasn't expecting him to be there. I didn't see him on radar. That invisibility got me. So here I am just looking for him again. And catch a glimpse, but don't get the shot off. There you go. I hit him with my Celestial Fire. Damage him just enough. And Hunters get scared when they get hit with anything, so... You can see him kind of panic there a little bit. Gave me enough time to mow him down with my Summoner. Alright, so at this point I'm just looking for the next kill. He's invisible again. He, he likes to peek invisible. So, I get aggressive. I start chasing. I hate when they run. So, I just started chasing. There you go. He's right in the middle, so I tried to get a, a cheeky um, Arbalist shot from the air. It was not a good idea. Cyrus will gun you down every time. You can see that I'm uh, I'm moving with the Icarus Dash consistently because uh, it just it it does buff your movement speed just a little if you use it just right. It's really fast to move like that too. One minute, you're neck and neck on reserves. I was expecting him to be over there, and he wasn't. He's super sneaky. There you go. Got a glimpse of him again. Um, now, I know that he doesn't have any sort of sniper rifle, so there's no need for me to be moving like that. But uh, that's it's good movement if you're playing against a sniper rifle or a linear fusion rifle or something like that. But there, I got a little too cocky, and he gunned me down with the Suros in the open. You've got 30 seconds. You can see me here running circles around him because he knows that he's got 20 seconds left. So seconds. he starts running. He's just trying to bait me out and fusion rifles me to death. And um, I had no choice there. I had to chase him. I had to do something about him because uh, if I let him run, I would have lost my life advantage. And if I chased him, he would have gunned me down with an air until. So I had to take my chance with the air until. I lost, but uh, I needed to do that. I had no choice. Boom, and the round starts with a nice Arbalist shot to the head. And a cheeky taunt after that. That's my favorite taunt, by the way. It just makes that audible clapping sound. It's beautiful. Alright, and so I catch a glimpse of Figral again. 
and I start chasing. And he guns me down from midair with the air until. And that's, that becomes the story of the rest of the game. He tries to bait me out with the air until. And nine times out of ten, I fall for it. It's the moral of the story is if you're up by a good amount, don't get aggressive. <laughs> it doesn't work out. Alright, so here I am pushing again with, with my uh, Icarus Dash. And I was about to taunt there. That's why I stopped. I wanted to... to um, I don't know why, but my taunt wasn't working there. Boom. Another headshot. Had a little bit of advantage, but course I'm not satisfied with just winning by life advantage I have to wipe him and so that's what I that's what I started doing I was started continuing the aggressiveness and there I couldn't tell if that was a smoke bomb or if that was him I assumed it was a smoke bomb and fair enough all right so here's a cool interaction between us here. He knows I have Arbalist. I know he has Aaron Till, so I'm not getting close. But he's also trying not to poke his head out, so here I pop the um the heat rises again and it gives me that that height advantage over him. He wasn't expecting me to be One up minute. there. Your That's how I was able lies. to get that body shot off. And of course he runs. Quality just dipped a little bit there. Alright, so, I don't know if you can really see what's going on very well, but, um, I am just waiting for him to push, because he needs to push. He's down a life. He has no choice. And so he does, and I gun him down with my Arbalest. It was a little bit of a, of a lucky shot, I think. But that targeting is like a luck enhancer. Boom. He tries to me, or he tries to air until me one more time, and I just uh, I respond with a fusion rifle of my own. Ten seconds. And so that's round two for me, in the bag. You smashed your enemy. Boom! And I had to get that one last shot off before the round ended. So it was a wipe and not just a um, life you event. Have match point. Finish them. Alright, so the rest of this video has some weird download issues, so uh, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and commentate over this anyway. Sorry if the video quality is not any good at, at past this point. Alright, so here I am still dodging with my Icarus Dash. Waiting for him. Still waiting. So you can see at this point, he, uh, it's no longer really an aggressive match. He's just kind of baiting me out. So my usual counter to that is just pop heat rises and just wait for him up in the air. See if I can get some good uh, sight lines. Nothing, of course. He's still hiding. There you go. He pops his head out for a moment. And then he goes back. So I'm still waiting for him in the middle. And he's off to my right. He actually moves really fast. I don't know how he get, gets around the map that quickly. Um, but here we go. I'm still pushing. Smoke bomb on the wall, like usual. Just waiting, just waiting. It's been almost half the round already, and neither of us have have uh, hit each other yet. I'm just looking for him, still looking for him, and of course, get Aaron tilled out in the open. I really don't respect the play style, but it's legal. That's all I can really say about that. Um, can't really complain about something if you never made the rules about it ahead of time. Uh, we knew this would be an issue, though. We knew this that uh, that one v ones kind of lend themselves well to fusion rifle gameplay, and uh, some maps wouldn't be very good for this. Uh, Javelin Four is not as bad as something like Anomaly would be for fusion rifles, but um, only one minute left. But you can see here, it's still not great. I'm just trying to... See, at this point, he's just running. I'm trying to, to catch up to him so I can get those two kills before the round's over. He's just running. 
and I'm just following. Trying to get closer to him. Not working out. Get a little bit closer. And then... Uh, he kind of lag skipped a little You've bit there, but seconds. apparently I shot him in the head. There we go. Now I'm, I'm like at a race against the clock to try to find Fiegel one more time. 20 seconds. Trying my best. Still running. Ten seconds. I believe he had a smoke bomb or something. I couldn't see him. Pokes his head out of the bat, out of the boxes with the fusion rifle and gets the kill. The enemy so he takes run. You one four. Too many times. And so now it's tied up two to two. And at this point, I'm getting pissed. I'm, I'm just like, Match man, this guy, this guy is just hiding, and he's. And I'm getting more and more aggressive just because, just because I'm getting frustrated at this this style of gameplay. So he did. He got in my head. Uh, that's why I lost. Uh, and spoiler alert, I lose this match. Uh, and it's and you can see why here because I'm I'm here just like pushing and pushing and pushing, and he's just retreating and retreating and retreating, and um, he manages to get the jump on me because I'm too busy with my movement to uh, be able to counter a fusion rifle. And he gets me from some ridiculous range. I don't know, if, uh, you probably weren't able to see me, but here I am with my arms, both of my arms raised in the air, trying to figure out what the heck just happened there with that range. Um, all right, so now he's up by a life, so I can expect to not see him for the rest of the round. But no, I'm still following him, I'm still trying to catch up to him. Trying to get that height advantage again, and couldn't find him. There we go. So we finally encounter each other there. And at this last, at this last part right here, I'm already so frustrated. I'm just, I'm just pushing and pushing and pushing and being so aggressive, just trying to catch up to him. Tag them with the arbalist, but he gets away. And I get killed again like that, and just because with with the invisibility, it messes up my motion tracking, and he's got he's got the radar somewhere like uh, pinging me somewhere else, and I'm just trying to figure out where he is. So he, every opportunity he can get the jump on me, he does it, and I end up falling for it more often than not because at this point, I'm just so aggravated. I'm just trying to end this match. Yeah, I lost sight of him because he went invisible and ended up somewhere else. So, got the body shot off, but didn't win that round. Only one minute left. And by this point, he's up three lives with a minute to go. There is no way I'm catching up. Let's see, I'm just trying to catch up to him trying to get get there and yep get fusion rifled again from line. from peaking the lane just the same. and that that'll do it that'll do it and so this is mostly just a lesson on when to be aggressive and just not letting the opponent Ten get in your seconds. head because this is what a lot of hunters do. You'll see it a lot where they um, they'll keep retreating. Anytime you hit them with anything, they retreat. They use one husk. They heal, and they get back into the fight and get the jump on you. This is very common hunter gameplay, and I I don't respect it, but it works and it's legal. You can do it. So. Um, I hope this commentary was good to show you where I went wrong, and what you have to do. To beat somebody of this build, um, I mean, by example of of me not successfully doing that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching this match between me and Fiegel. Uh I'm hoping the next one goes a little bit better than this. Maybe we can we can um, change the rules up a little bit, allow some of our more usual gameplay. Like he wasn't able to use his worm husk, I wasn't able to use my getaway artist, but. Um, yeah, so this is just the first of many tournaments that our clan's going to have. So definitely join us for the next one. It was a lot of fun. We're going to have the full highlight reel posted uh, once uh, 
and Cross has that all finished. Uh, congratulations to Lotus, our winner of the tournament. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.